So you might be in a position where you want to go ahead and download your iCloud photos on your iPhone or iPad or whatever other you know, Mac product, Apple product you have. Now doing this is actually very basic, but you will have to have you know, your access to your specific iCloud account you know, via your username and password. So keep that in mind. As long as you have your email of your iCloud account and your password, you should be good to go. So what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and log into iCloud.com. So all you want to do here is just literally go to iCloud.com, just like how I typed it in here. And you can type it in on your iPhone just like this. And that is pretty much all you're going to have to do. So once you go and type it in, it'll go ahead and take you straight into the login page. So I've already logged in, but it's just going to prompt you to basically log into your specific iCloud account. So again, you basically use your email and password, and that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. Now, once you're done here and you log in, all you want to do here is you want to scroll down into your photos application portion here. So you can go and click on photos and then you will come here. So you will start to see all your you know, iCloud photos start to populate as you can see. So now if you want to go ahead and download these photos, let's say I want to download this one. All I'm going to have to do is go and click on the three dots right here. So the three dots right there. And here I'll have a little download button. So now all I have to do is go and click download and this photo will start to download into my files application. And from there, if you can download however many files you want to, what you can do then is you can go and click on the file down here. You can go and click on downloads and it'll take me straight into my downloads application right here. I can just go ahead and double click this photo and I can even add it to my photo, you know, save image. I can save it into my photo application. There's a lot of things you can do here. So now if you go and click here and if you look right here, you'll see that the photo is right there. And that's basically all you have to do. And like I mentioned, you will have to basically download it for every image. So if whatever image you have, you can download it. There might be another way to kind of quickly go through all of them. But that is basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.